boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We have another edition of Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff World. And this time we have to go out to Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff State, right? AKA California, California, where we have to talk about a story that just should not happen in this country if our country actually had common sense, okay? It seems like half of this country doesn't have common sense, AKA liberal states, AKA blue states. Don't know why anybody's really living in these states anymore. Well, I do, and I actually feel bad for uh, the good Republicans and conservatives that still live in these blue states uh, because they like their way of life, they like where they're living at. It sucks, I feel really bad. But because of that, um, you know, we have to suffer through these policies that are not grounded in reality. And because of that, there are unintended consequences that happen as a result. And this story right here uh, about this brawl that happened at Martin Luther King High School out in California, Riverside, uh, California, uh, is another example of a story that it, it just shouldn't happen, right? We, we shouldn't hear about stories like this in this country as because of the ludicrous bathroom policies that they have that allow biological boys to use uh the women's bathroom uh you had a brawl break out at this school now i'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen this video because the video of the brawl has went viral it's been out for like a week or two now so i'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen it i'm just doing the story now uh but a brawl broke out because allegedly uh this transgender student uh was exhibiting behaviors in the girls restroom that girls just weren't comfortable with right it was just like look we're not comfortable with this and and this is allegedly what led to this fight now there have been multiple fights involving transgender students presumably over the bathrooms and it's become such a big problem at this school that <laughs> they have now expelled this transgender student as a result now i'm gonna go ahead and play a news clip of this incident so you guys get a better understanding of what happened here however because you guys know how youtube is when it comes to violence especially violence involving teenagers they already probably don't like the fact that i'm talking about this in the first place but i am gonna talk about it i can't play the violent parts okay i have to play a still image and, and cut out parts of the video that youtube don't like okay so Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the clip. Take a look. Starting at around 5.30. Not on the agenda, though, is the reason why there's an overflow crowd here. Parents from Martin Luther King High School want to know more about these fights that were started allegedly by a transgender student. There have been multiple fights. Take a look. Two students arguing at Martin Luther King High School. It's unclear who started the fight, but the tall student is said to be trans. There's pushing and shoving, and eventually another student jumps in and fists fly. <laughs> Parents and students say the tall student identifies as trans, and that gave the student access to the locker room and bathrooms designated for females. Yeah, she is homeschooled. This parent didn't want to be identified, but says she's pulled her daughter out of school for her safety. The fights that are unacceptable, the things that she does encounter, other students have encountered, um, walking in the bathrooms, PE, um, just the acceptance is fine. Fine, she says, but claims the school is doing too much to accommodate a couple of trans students. She's complained but got no satisfaction. And everything was on the hush-hush. Oh, they didn't want to talk to you? They didn't want to talk to us about it. Students say fights are an every week occurrence, but the last two fights involved this one trans student, adding fuel to the fire, rumors of the trans student's behavior. And then he's also in the girls' locker room using girls' restrooms. He spit on my friends that are girls, females, and uh, he, he shows his genitals in the, the locker room. This is another mother who wanted to stay anonymous. She has a female sophomore student and believes the trans student presents as masculine, and that should be enough to keep them away from the teen girls. But she tries to understand the trans student's struggles. They're obviously acting out because they obviously mentally are probably just have a lot of emotion, they have a lot of feeling going on, and they probably don't know how to deal, handle what's going on and how they're being treated. <laughs> But the mom also says this is not an acceptable way to handle their feelings. Riverside Unified School District released a statement this afternoon that says that the student, the trans student at the center of those fights will no longer attend Martin Luther King uh, High School. But I talked to a couple of parents. I'm not sure that that is enough to satisfy them. 
Reporting live in Riverside, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News. With the crowd behind you there, Susan. All right, thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and only ladies and gentlemen it is and shall always be. I am an 18-year-old high school student and wanted to take this time to bring to your attention the current issue with biological men claiming they are women and in turn truly believing that they are entitled to use women's spaces. There was an incident within our district that occurred recently regarding a transgender woman who really is a bio biological man having an altercation with a young woman at MLK High School. It was infuriating when I had seen the video on social media, but what was detrimental to this is the fact that this man is and has been using the women's restroom and locker room. Why don't we ever get a say in whether or not we are comfortable with this? The truth is, we aren't. The majority of us aren't, and yet nothing has been done to protect the safety of these women. I will conclude with this. It all starts with you. You are in charge of the safety of us women and, our, and, the, parent, and the kids of our parents. So please do something about it. Thank you. Yeah, so I have so many things to say about this story. First and foremost, I made the observation <laughs> that these kids got a whole lot of cojones, okay? I actually respect the hell out of these kids because, one, they're speaking out about this issue, and, two, they're not afraid to show their faces, right? Uh, as you can see, if you didn't notice, all the parents in that video were afraid, right? <laughs> their faces were censored. The identities were hidden. The way they were talking about it, they clearly have problems, right? They clearly know that, hey, this ain't right. One parent going as far as to remove her daughter from the school, okay, to say, hey, you know, I'm homeschooling my girl now uh, because of these policies that she feels like creates an unsafe environment for her daughter. But she also said, well, you know, hey, the acceptance is fine, right? The acceptance is fine, okay? But the school is doing too much to accommodate, which I guess is a reasonable statement. But I'm just saying what you can see there is obvious that these parents... Uh, they're, they're, they're not really that comfortable speaking out about it. They want to speak out, but they're not super comfortable just calling it like it is and saying, hey, this is ridiculous, okay? What is happening here uh, is causing more problems than anything, okay? Like, you know, this, uh, like, the based uh, <laughs> young boy, young man, okay, who was like, <laughs> he just called it straight. He was like, well, you know, th th this person was spitting on my friends, uh, showing his genitals, <laughs> right? Uh, it, it, you know, he was misgendering all over the place. He didn't care, right? He did not care. Just like the girl at the end didn't care, okay? When she was, you know, saying what her issue was, she didn't care, okay? The students don't care because they're dealing with the issue directly, right? They're saying, look, this is causing problems. This is causing issues, right? We don't like this. Now, as you can see in the video, not the video, what the steel image that I, I posted, uh, the transgender student was much bigger than the girl, okay? And obviously, as you can see there, uh, that transgender student has a physical advantage over the girl, okay? If you actually watch the fight, you can see that the transgender student has a physical advantage. And what happens when you have biological men and, 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 or biological boys fighting biological girls? Girls get hurt, Right? Over something that just should not have happened in the first place because you shouldn't have this policy there in the first place. There should not be a policy allowing biological boys to use the restroom with biological girls. What do you think is going to happen? Right? There's no doubt in my mind, just based off the mannerisms of that biological boy, that, you know, he probably got a little attitude anyways, right? He probably got a little attitude. He probably carries his, himself in a certain way. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm trying to say. So, I mean, they're, they're probably prone to getting into conflicts with, with girls anyways, right? Because, you know, girls are all about drama. And since this biological boy believes that he's a girl, you know, hey, this type of stuff happens, okay? But it's entirely avoidable if you just don't have this policy in place in the first place. Why is it that all these students, all, mainly these girls, have to capitulate and bend over backwards for a select group of kids it doesn't make sense these kids can use a gender neutral or single use restroom which i'm pretty sure they have plenty of in that high school if that's what they want to do if they're not comfortable going into the boys bathroom it's really that simple because again you only got a couple of them there it's not that many trans kids right that's what you want to call it it's not that many of them there so why in the world are you making all these girls feel uncomfortable, which they are, right? Clearly they are, 
Why are you making them feel uncomfortable for a couple students? And you know, you know that the so-called transgender student is the issue because the school ended up expelling the student, which is why I was laughing uh, as the news media, when I first heard the story, as the news media is trying to frame this as, well, we don't know who started it. Well, allegedly, the transgender student started. I'm like, you know who started it because we live in a society where these people are being coddled. And the fact that the trans student was expelled and the biological girl wasn't <laughs> tells you everything you need to know about who's really causing the problem, right? It tells you everything you need to know because in normal situations, the biological girl would have been punished, right? Typically, the biological girl is going to get punished because, again, the transgender students get the benefit of the doubt. They would have said that the biological girl is a bigot, right? She's engaged in transphobia because she's not comfortable with biological boys using the bathroom in front of her. And allegedly, allegedly... Uh, showing their genitals as well too right you must be comfortable with this stuff or else you're transphobic this is what they typically say but because they expel the transgender student that tells me everything you need to know about who was causing most of the problems right where was the issue coming from because typically again the punishment goes the other way so i just found it to be hilarious how this news station tried to frame this issue because they didn't want to seem like, well, they was, you know, piling on the transgender student and obviously trying to place blame. But again, just based off the outcome of this situation, we all know, right, where probably most of the blame goes. Now, again, apparently parents aren't necessarily satisfied with the outcome of the student being expelled. And I don't blame them because uh, they should be demanding policy change, right? There should be a policy change. We just should not have this at all. Therefore, you avoid this situation. Now, obviously, there's still going to be fights. Kids are going to fight each other. Where at the very least, you don't have to worry about biological boys and girls getting in fights because of biological boys using the bathroom, right? Or girls, uh, you know, having to deal with the trauma or the traumatic experience of seeing male genitalia. You completely don't have to deal with that issue if you just change the policy to common sense, Okay. Again, this is something that just shouldn't happen. We just shouldn't be having this problem at all at schools. But again, we're creating this problem because we want to live in Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff world <laughs> instead of living in reality. It's a shame. It really is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.